Bonjour. Hi. Welcome to another episode of Off Air with Bimi. Mademoiselle Bimi uh-huh. and Mademoiselle Tous. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Mm, mm, mm. Uh, first things first, have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Did you watch last week's episode? It was pure fire. Did you share it with your friends? Yes. Go ahead and do that. Yes. Do that. Do it that, was do fun. That. Yep, yep, yep. And we just need to, just to get this out of the way, we actually invited all the housewives. Yes, we did. But not everybody could make it. Yeah, some okay? people were busy, some people were out of town, all of that. So yeah. those who could make it, you know, came through. Uh, this episode is dedicated to you, Off Air Gang. Um, it's a fan mail episode. Woo-hoo! And we have got a surprised... Yeah, well gone. We have... <laughs> 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 we have got a surprise special guest yeah. that's going to be performing in a little bit. So let's get into the fan mail, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, so should I read the first one? Yeah, you go for the first one. Okay, he says, it's from a guy. Um, Hi, Bimmy and Tools. I'm a 32-year-old guy, and I was sexually molested and or raped at the age of 12 by our neighbor's last daughter. She was almost 10 years older than I am. I was severally raped until she left for the UK. That was 2004. Since then, I have been weirdly in love with her to the extent that I am not sexually attracted to any other lady. I have been in several relationships, but it did not work. No thanks to social media. I keep stalking her on social media because I am sexually attracted to her. And she's married now with three kids in the UK, but I really need to move on. What should I do? My parents think I am gay, but I cannot tell them how fucked up I am. Please keep anonymous. I'm, I'm so sorry that this yeah. happened to you, honestly. Um, I think, I actually think that you should seek uh, professional help. And this isn't, this, we're actually being serious. Um, this is something that happened to you. You were a child. You were underage. Um, you were sexually assaulted um, by somebody that was much older than you, somebody that knew better. Mm -hmm. And as a result of what happened, um, you have a certain view, should I say, on relationships. Um, The interesting thing, or is that the word I want to use, Um, is that I found that from a lot of my male friends Mm -hmm. that their first sexual experiences were with either the, you know, like the maid, the nanny or something. Um, So this this is actually, yeah, in this country, this is actually very, very common. Um, There was a few years ago, a friend told me about, um, I think one of his older sister's friends that was his first, Mm -hmm. she was much older than him. Again, he was underage Mm -hmm. and she had, um, she, she, he just said, look, I just remember that she had a big bum, a big booty. And he said, since then he just has been, really attracted to women with um, big booties like he literally is just you know um, kind of obsessed with them and everything so I think you should actually speak to somebody um, because I think it's a bit unhealthy it's mm-hmm. rather unhealthy uh, what's going on and the fact that it's stopping you from having you know um, normal, normal relationships, relationships with other women yeah and the fact that you seem to be obsessed with her you're stalking her she's already married and everything so I think you probably need to seek um, professional help speak to somebody find out you know what's going on when we say seek professional help we mean like get some counselling yeah. some yeah. therapy yeah, and if possible everybody um, needs therapy by I, the way while I totally you know I'm a Christian I totally believe in God and everything and the power of prayer I would advise that you actually get like a professional, someone who went to school for this and not just your pastor yeah. or, you know, your deacon or whoever, mm-hmm. someone who actually can um, help you and talk you, you know, and basically just guide you through this process. Yeah. yeah. I think as somebody that um, I've had therapy, um, I still have therapy um, and this is, this has helped me with a lot of things. I think what therapy does is it basically kind of holds a mirror in front of you. So they don't tell you, okay, go and do this, but they help you understand your feelings a bit a bit better so for example you know what you're going through they might probably say okay this and this and this is probably what is likely you know happening to you Mm. and you know this is how you uncross those wires in your head and everything so um i don't think there's anything wrong with therapy and i think you definitely need it Mm. um it's it's quite sad that there's so many um men that are in this position where their first sexual experience was with somebody you know that's much much older than them yeah um, and they and the, the fact that in this society we've kind of normalized that. So there are lots of guys that have um, warped ideas of what sex is because of their first experience. Mm. Because their first experience happened when they were very, very young. They didn't know what was going on. And the person um, that decided to, you know, essentially make them a victim was much, much older than them. Um, so there are probably lots of guys that are in this same position. And a lot of guys probably think, I don't need to talk about it, but they do. So I would suggest that you definitely get some professional help. All right. So we have your um, second uh, fan mail that we're going to go through. 
Um, I'm not going to mention any names. This is how it reads. I need your advice on an issue. I've been with this guy for two years plus, but I just feel the only thing holding us together is just sex. Hmm. No memories, no dates, nothing. I told him how I feel about um, this and he said it's not just sex, that he loves me. Mind you, he has a girlfriend outside the country, which he told me about. <laughs> my concern now is how do I go about dumping him? I'm thinking of doing it on my birthday because I know he won't call and I plan on using that as an excuse, but I don't know if that would work. What other thing can I do? Because I can't fight him. He'll just be saying sorry. So let me get this straight. So you are, no, no, so let me get this straight. I'm never trying to be funny. So you are the side chick. Yeah. And you want to break up with him. I didn't know side chicks break up with people. <laughs> or I side dudes. She's just a sneaky link. It's yeah, like okay, well. I mean, small. sneaky link, okay. Uh, I mean, I feel like, do you have to, do you have to wait for your birthday? If you know you're done with this person, then just say, you know what, we're done. Or you know what, just ghost him. Block him everywhere and ghost him. Because you said, oh, if you, if you can't even fight with him because all he'll be saying is sorry. So how about you just block the guy everywhere? Even okay. email, block him. Mm. So this is what I think. Um, if you're a side chick, is it not, are you not with the person because of sex or no? Thank no. you. Thank you. Fall in love. Why are you joking? No, 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 no. But, but, but if you're somebody's side chick, are they not with you because of sex? Sometimes it's companionship, I guess. I don't she know. Wants okay. memories. Really? Okay. <laughs> they have, they have she memories, said, sexual memories. Exactly. But that's all. I, I, I was surprised to, um, when I was reading this, I don't believe, okay, maybe I shouldn't use don't believe, but I struggle to understand or to accept that women can be digmatized long term. <laughs> is it possible? Yes. Do you think she's digmatized? So well, she, she said is. that the, the only thing they have is sex. So does she want more? Yeah. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, but, but he's not giving you sis yeah. if he's been smashing this guy for so, two years. So she said that she she pretty much is only there for like, you know, because of the sex. And I don't feel that women can be like long term digmatized because mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe she's it's just the way I think. She's she's trying to get I get I guess a bit more serious. Yeah, but this is me just going on on a different tangent. Do you believe that women can be like digmatized long term? Like I'm, literally be in a relationship for two, three years and you're just there because the sex is good. <laughs> well, there are some women yeah. like that. I have I have seen some cases like for that. For two, three years. It happens. It happens. Anybody can be women. For two, three years. For five years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we weren't even together, but every time he called... You get oh, running, man. sis. Shout out to Kogi Boys, Chris. Oh, really? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> I heard the Kogi Boys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you heard is true. <laughs> I heard, I heard that. Oh, he's middle belt boys. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Um, Kogi Boys and Benin Boys. Benin? Really? Zina. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I don't agree, but uh, okay. okay. Well, you're right. <laughs> but do but wait, do you Maybe believe that do you do you believe that women can be digmatized long term? Yes. We not can't like for speak. A few months. We can't speak for all women, so I will not be Why surprised if that has happened. Okay, yeah. I just I feel that um, as great as you know sex can be, I feel that you will have you know moments where everything is clear in your brain, and if the person isn't doing what they're supposed to do maybe the guy just refused to get a job or something i dated somebody like way 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 back and honestly i dated him because he was really just good looking it was really really good looking and after a while i was just like there's nothing else to this you're beautiful we look good when we match match outfits and go out and shit <laughs> i'm like you're gonna wear white okay, so you did alcohol too. oh god oh my gosh he was you did he, alcohol he was this is way back Way way back, <laughs> and this no 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 this is like many years ago <laughs> when I was in the abroad. <laughs> when I was in the abroad, and then and then he would and then he was from um, one of these Caribbean islands, Ooh. and he had like hazel eyes and stuff. So I'm like, okay, you know where I I'll wear white too. Okay, <laughs> and then there was a day that you know I was just like, there's nothing, there's nothing. We sat there at, in his house watching MTV Base, talked about a video, and there was silence. It wasn't like the kind of comfortable silence. It was just like. I want to talk about things, but you're not really... It was deafening silence. There was just nothing that we could talk about. Mm. So for me, I mean, that didn't last for years. Mm. But, you know, after a while, I was just like, okay, you know, things are great. But, you know, that's why I said that I I find it difficult to understand. Mm. Mm. But I guess there's some women. Anyways, my dear, you're a side chick. So, and he has another girlfriend. And the interesting thing is how she dropped it in there. Like, oh, by the way, he does have a girlfriend abroad. But however, <laughs> and I'm just like, um... <laughs> but, you know, I, I feel like, um, so, yeah. you know, 
I, I, I realize today in today's world that there's so many, especially women, there's so many women that are not, um, they don't have any issues with sharing. They don't have any issues with being with someone else's man. They don't have any issues with just, they just don't have any issues with sharing. And I used to be so scandalized at first, but I'm just like, you know what? It's a way of life of, a way of life for some of these people. So yeah. no, but I also think it's like a life for them because they don't want to share, but they don't also want to admit that. They're polyamorous. That's that's another thing. They don't too. know what polyamorous means. Well, they need to go and so, check it so out. Are, people... you, are you saying that they share... Can we put the word here? Polyamorous. Yeah. Mm. Polyamorous. See? Polyamorous. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you saying that they they share... Um, I mean, you know, they're, they're a side chick to this guy, but then they have different guys that they're... I mean, mean, in some cases, yeah. it's that. Yeah, yeah. In some cases, like they are very good with being in the shadows. You know, they don't mind that this person is either has a committed relationship or is um, uh, married. They or in some cases, day. or they're just happy to be there, even mm-hmm. if he's not committed to them. There's so many like that, mm-hmm. you know. Even if he... And it's, this doesn't apply to just... Um, popular or rich guys mm-hmm. or celebrities random you know yeah. if i mention you know random anybody from anywhere has girls sliding into their dm saying hi hello hi hello hello because they just want somebody yeah okay so. all right speaking of being polyamorous mm-hmm. um there was a lot of talk about polygamy ah. uh, because of um a very very well-known actor yul edochi edochi is it edochi or edochi is it that guy Sha. that guy anyways um so he put on his page um he was celebrating the birth of another child and then we found out that this is he kind of said his second wife blah 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 and then the whole topic of you know um men being allowed to be polygamous in in nigeria you know came up and everything and some people came out to say oh men are naturally um (laughs) polygamous and everything and they should i will just throw something at you i will throw something at you and it should be allowed it should be permitted what are your thoughts on polygamy I think <laughs> if you want to throw something at him, him, if you want to throw something at him, I'm very, very okay with it. All things are fast to me. But I think, I, well, see, I have, you know, controversial views on this, so I feel like it it's a decision. It it's a decision. You decide what you want to do. Some people claim, you know, what that no, we should all be monogamous, but you have sneaky links left and right, so I feel like if if you feel, look, as an adult, it's your responsibility to know yourself. Mm-hmm. If you feel that you can stick with one person, I'm talking to men and women now, then do that. And if you feel that you cannot stick to one person, also own that. I have a friend, you know, who owns that. Like, she's never had a relationship ever. I've known her for almost 20 years. And she hasn't ever said, this is my boyfriend or whatever. And she realizes that monogamy is not for her. And mm-hmm. that's fine. The gag is... The gag is there. This these sneaky links and everything that you're talking about. There are a lot of people mm. that they. It's the fact that it is a sneaky link uh-huh. that gets them excited. So even if I mean, there are people that they are guys that have more than two wives, but mm. they still have girlfriends. Mm. So just having they are guys that have like two, three, four wives, and they still have like you know things on the side. So I don't think that's what it is. Um, I will say this. Go on. What are you gonna I say? have a question and you what? might beat me. <laughs> but I have this question. So people, men who have more than like two wives mm. or more than one wife, like do they all like together? <laughs> do they all want? Let me need to be very clear. Do they all have like group sex? No, no. So, I don't know. I'm not there with like, everyone. Like, but I, I will say, I will say what this. Is <laughs> a man with his wives? No. Yeah, she had the point. Do they have? You know, I think it happens, and some of you don't want to admit it. You know, okay. There's there's a program. There's a program on TLC. Um, I think Sister Wives. That Mm -hmm. I'm so sure because there's there's a couple, and they were looking for a wife, like a sister wife. And the woman, it wasn't like the guy was, you know, the one picking. She was like, oh, I want her and blah, blah, blah. So obviously they do stuff. I think it's smart of, on the on the part on the part of the woman because she wants someone that she can get along with. 
Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't just about personality. They were talking about her physical attributes and everything. Yeah, don't come and so ruin those... our pictures, girl. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not... I don't think they were talking about pictures, okay? Yeah, I know now. Yeah. So I think it was... Th- those ones, I think they were definitely, you know, doing stuff mm-hmm. together. I'm just gonna I will say... I will say this. Um, as somebody sure. that's from a polygamous home, I... If it suits you, God bless you. Go on with your life. I am so against polygamy. I was going to ask you that. I would yeah. you have been like... Oh, no, fucking no. If it was down the Hell. Hell. <laughs> I, If I was going to do that, I would be living in a different oh, country. Oh, F-O. Eh? In a different country. No, polygamous budget. <laughs> no, polygamous I will not answer number five. So I will help you to pick the next babe. Oh, F-O? Oh, 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 oh. But on a serious note, no, no, it's just have money. That's it. Just have money. Zena, what's budget? Just have money. No, no, it's not just money. It's a settle. Which settle wants is money. 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 What brings the uh, swag? Money. But you know what? You know what? I mean, as a child, as a child from a polygamous home, mm. there's a lot of shit that mm. ends up happening. Yeah. And there are lots of lots of things that you end up having to deal with that you you know from a single okay not um, single parent sorry African from a um, nuclear yes a nuclear Organic. you don't have to deal with and um, my dad God rest his soul he had like a few wives and it was it was it was a bit it was like a circus sometimes did you ever have a conversation with him and ask why daddy um I mean he's he was a king so it's yeah, expected yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I mean it's I understand that everything. I mean my grandfather had over what yeah, hundred I mean, but it was no no over. 50 something wives. What? Wow. Your grandpa? Yeah, it's now it's, I know. Oh, <laughs> now I know. What shall you mean? Your voice is loud fine. today. <laughs> it was a fine. But I, I, I would say that, I mean, I'm, even, even, age, with so. billion, even with billions, even with billions of billions, it would be difficult for it me to be. accept you know, um, a polygamous situation. The only thing I was I would accept is if you're going to be doing uh, what's it called polygamy. Let me to have like one or two husbands. Let's all just you know maintain have the same energy. Community. Bro. Let it let it be a community and everything. Which obviously a lot of guys won't say yes to. Um, but yeah, I think that there's so I many issues. I feel that if you're going to bring in another person into your marriage, then you have no mouth to tell your partner what to do. If you decide that you're going to have a second wife and she decides that she's going to have whether a plaything, a lover, a whatever, you have no business, bro. You can fight me on this. That's your business. But I feel like maintain the same energy. Yeah. Yeah. It is time for something special for our fair gang. Mm. Um, a very, very special performance by the one, the only. The gifted. Yes. The Praise. reckless. <laughs> I don't want no other body Now you in my mind, girl, I'm falling You know I want you I don't want no one day, oh, you want day Girl, you got me in my emotion Shall let me drown in your ocean Girl, you got me drunk in your potion Girl, you know I want you Baby, let me love you Can't do it without you just wanna win your heart, boo Girl, you know that I want you Baby, let me love you Can't do without you You're my soul tattoo I can treat you better Kiss you better I can love you better No, I can treat you better Let me play in your G string, make it out of sound. We can make your body scream like whoa, hey, just like whoa. Girl, I go give you the pounds and roses. Forget about the guys, we go give you just flowers. Girl, you know I want you, man, you know I want you. Can't do without you. You're my soul tattoo. Girl, you know that I want you 
Baby, let me love you Can't do without you You're my soul tattoo I can treat you better Kiss you better I can love you better No one can treat you better Kiss you better I can love you better Girl, you know that I want you Baby, let me love you Can't do without you Just wanna win your heart, boo Girl, you know that I want you Baby, let me love you Can't do without you You're my soul tattoo Hi everybody, it's your boy Praise, aka Mr. Rich and Famous. So I'm having a switch today on today's show. Um, I have two guests, beautiful ladies in the building tonight. Why, thank and, you. And um, we have Tools on my left, and um, we have Bimi on my right. And you're looking so lovely today. Thank, thank you, you so much. So you, guys, you. you guys are welcome to um, Off Air with Praise. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, actually, <laughs> let's take it let's back. Let's take it back. <laughs> <laughs> let's all take okay. it back. All right, so we are about to ask you some um, very tough questions. Mm. You ready? Uh, you know, I'm boring. Don't, don't, let, the f- uh, you, 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 don't let the fact that we've known you for years mm. think that we're going to go easy on you. Mm. All right, let me first question. What you guys are, Pris, I, can we have your phone first? Thank you. <laughs> My phone is dead. <laughs> yeah, liar. I have charger. I have power bank. Power bank. <laughs> yeah, every is every power. Look, we have your phone. Is it? That's good. You're gonna open it with your face. Come on. <laughs> don't, don't open your eye to hand. Don't open your eye to hand. <laughs> you only have a form, something password. Yeah. Ah, so easy. Come on, open it. Yeah, I guess it's. Like... <laughs> oh yeah, open. Sixty nine, sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if it works. <laughs> open, open it. Let's open see. your phone. So well, first question, are you a reformed hoe? I'm a reformed hoe. What's your definition of a reformed hoe? I would go to be... No, 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 right now, you need to see, uh, people, people can twist your words. So we need to know the definition and the angle you're coming from. Mm. So what's your definition of a reformed hoe? Jesu. Are you, <laughs> hey, what did you see? What did you see? <laughs> So he, you're not a reformed hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you're a hoe. Ah! Let me see. Oh Lose. my god! Who, who is Lose. it? So who? I did. I did a search in his WhatsApp at first. Why are you three, stroking his hand like that? For a three-letter word, I don't want. I'm not stroking. I'm holding his hand. For a three-letter <laughs> word. <laughs> a three-letter word. And the first thing I saw is. Well, damn. You got it like that. Okay, high five, high five, high five. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, high five, high five. Let's just, let's just say, let's just say that the word that made me search for the first results was from a very satisfied customer. Oh, I love it. Oh, friend. Oh, friend. You know, so. Well done. You know, it's good. It's good. <laughs> no, do you know what? Do you know this is the episode? In all honesty, yeah. In all honesty, yeah. I find that a lot of guys. Wow. A lot of guys. You guys don't really ask a, um, a lot of feedback. So the vibe that you give gave. Yeah, praise. praise. Keeping my jagger satisfied. She's very, <laughs> very satisfied. Very satisfied. They had a whole conversation about you it the, the night after. Satisfied. I mean, the day yeah. after. Yeah, make up a song called Satisfied right now. No, I'll take my time. Okay, so um, we can safely say yeah. that um, you're not reformed, but that's okay. My question, my next question is, are you are you honest about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm an honest person, to be honest. I'm, yeah. I'm an, you know I'm honest, though. Yeah. 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 I'm honest. Just that makes sense. Yeah. Baby, what else are you seeing? Baby's not even girl, in the studio this, this anymore. This is so interesting. It's like a novel. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know I'm not telling anybody. Uh, yeah. It's like, it's like Lecky Bridgerton. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. Wow. Wow. 
<laughs> okay, let's right, let's bring it to what? music. What do you hear? Yeah, music. We music, all know music, that you're music, very. He does music too. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that you're a very talented yes. um, singer, you, songwriter, and all of that. So, um, your album. Tell us about your album. Yeah, so I just put out a new album called Reckless. Mm. Um, <laughs> it's um, it's an amazing body of work, I must mm. say. Um, one of the dopest projects this country has ever seen. I agree. Um, um, it's a fifteen-track project um, that features Ladi Paul, Sean Kuti, oh nice, Waje, mm. um, Ali Kiba from Tanzania, mm-hmm. Rich Rich from. Sweden, Daniel from Sweden, mm-hmm. Joe J from Portugal. Nice. So, yeah, it's a um, it's a very intentional album, mm-hmm. and um, with time, I've learned to be more intentional with my art, with my music, with how I put out stuff, and um, it took me two years to put together. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I started in lockdown. I started, I think July twenty twenty. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, album's out. Where can we get it's it? A, Why is it called Reckless? It's called Reckless because I'm reckless. With what? I'm, I'm reckless. <laughs> so usually when people hear the word reckless, what comes to your mind is... Ho. People, people, <laughs> what? Ho. <laughs> no, I thought irresponsible. Okay. So now that is very biased. I see. You know, people are usually biased with definition or with words. Being reckless is taking actions regardless of the consequences. Okay. So, fuck you, it. So, yeah. Reckless could be good. It could have positive consequences. So, for me, I'm taking it from an angle of self-love, like doing what I want to do mm-hmm. that makes me happy. Mm-hmm. And um, What does that involve? Putting myself first. He will break your heart. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Remember. But you know the good thing? I can beat my chest and look in this camera right now and say, if I've broken your heart, please come out. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah! Um, support group. Support if I, if, no, no. Oh, no, no. Rewind, so remember rewind, that person. Rewind, 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 rewind. Remember that person. Rewind. 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 If I've been in a relationship with you. Oh! Okay, oh, okay. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. We talked about it before you got here. See this lady. (laughs) (laughs) But you guys, you guys, you guys know the truth. But we know you. But you know the truth. I don't know. I look. He feel like you may be. You know, like probably. You know, he did the brown eyes for her, and she was like, "He loves me," (laughs) and he was just maybe trying to. You know, I don't know. Practice like a pickup line, and she thought there was something there. No, with that with that situation, I was actually, I was actually honest. I was actually hundred. I'm like, yo, I'm not interested. Did you hook in... up with her? No, 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 no. Not even like a little. I didn't even do like this. So this time we're not going to be no. No, 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 no. Her name no, is no. Bosse. <laughs> yes, her name is Bosse. Quotes, <laughs> <laughs> quotes, Bosse. Bosse is like quotes. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, all right. No, so but, have but... you have you had like um a lot of situations like this where somebody kind of just falls you know, for you, falls for you, has like a bit of a fixation. Um, well, that was a major one, though. Yeah. Um, I've, with time, I learned a lot from that. So, I tried to avoid situations like that, because, yo, that one was, it was toxic. But I'm like, <sighs> tried to fight me. You remember one time during the AMVCAs? I I'm sure you remember. You remember. <laughs> you do remember. <laughs> what, so, what are you, I So, think, guys. I, I think you should tell the story, because I yeah, can't remember. Yeah, It was a long time ago. A very long time ago. <laughs> You, you can't remember? Though. I shall remember that it was the AMVC after party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you remember. So, my people, this is what happened. We were all at the AMVCAs one year like that. And we well, having a great time. time. And I saw my people, my friends. And I, I think I was dancing. I started dancing with one of you. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's Bimmy or Tools. And next thing, this girl, just she just walks up to me and she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, no wonder. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> Did you smoke a olive or something? Like, <laughs> Not so, a no, 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 no. I'm just like in my head. Because like, I'm like, yo, I'm not your boyfriend. You're not my girlfriend. I've not, you even hook I, up. I've not touched Ghost. you in 
sexual certain manners. ways, you know, like I haven't given you the audacity to come to me and ask me that kind of question, you know, like and so you cleared so her on the dance floor? No, I, I just I think we moved we just moved away from I just remember it being very awkward. Yeah, no, it was very awkward. So like we just moved but it was becoming too much. Then we left the vet, we left the, the hall and went outside and she 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 walked after me. And I had to clear her out there. I'm like, see, in your life, yeah. don't you ever try that again. Are you guys on good terms now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we've been, but I mean, I haven't spoken to her in like a long time. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, I like to, I like to keep, mm. I like, I, I don't like to end um, friendship on bad notes. Mm. Like, I want to, I want to be able to see you and cordial. say, hey, hi, what's good? Mm, I'll okay. be all moving on. So what has been your craziest fan moment? That other than be. this <laughs> <laughs> well was she like a you know like like a fan fan like somebody Who? they were friends mm. oh, yeah, are we still talking friends. about that no no, no oh, I said your craziest okay. fan moment okay. Okay. craziest fan, fan moment was um <laughs> maybe somebody that snuck into your hotel room or found your house <laughs> What happened? Yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to see which one. Tell us the juiciest one. This is off one. air. You can say whatever yes. you want. Yes, of course. You can curse as well. It's my show, guys. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you guys will go out we started the show. Is your name on the wall? <laughs> I see. You guys, see, I'm a gentleman. You guys are ladies. Answer the uh, question, my friend. I have to put you guys first. You think that you have sense? Answer the question. Wait, we've known you too long. Okay, so now, it doesn't but, work for uh, us okay, anymore. Okay, but, uh, oh, yeah. I said anymore. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean, it doesn't work. You know, as far you're still, you're saying. Yeah. So um, <laughs> after the show, uh, I think it was at Echo Hotel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I finished performing and wanted to go back into the hall to just enjoy the rest of the show. Mm-hmm. And while I was walking into my table. The lady pulled me, and I mean, she she loved my performances, and she said, "That's ah. what he said." <laughs> she, I mean, that's what she, she said, really. <laughs> In that message, <laughs> but go on. And she said, "Yo, you are amazing tonight. You actually made me wet." And what was your I, what was your response? <laughs> I, my husband was was laughing. No, was, I started laughing first, and I said. Thank you. <laughs> because what I didn't, I mean, I didn't what's the appropriate that, response to see? Yo, yeah, what is the, uh, hmm. so what did she say after that? Can I have your number? No. Are you lodged here with other artists? What's your room number? Ah. That's so that, that she didn't even want your number straight to the point, man. It was interesting. It was good to see though. It Wait, was good to hear. Did so. you hook up with her? No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Really? But have you I ever hooked up with a fan? Yes. Stop, stop that wait, 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 now, relax now. <laughs> no, 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 to be the honest, fan became your friend. friend. Yeah, yeah. And so, be honest, I think no, most no, 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 male no. artists have hooked up with their fans. No, no, no. So I, I, I would say I have not hooked up with my fan. You became we friends. Became friends. Uh-huh. And, and then, and then, then maybe, oops, oops, you just. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see you as a fan. I just say yo, like yo, yeah. Oh, she's a fan. She loves my music. She loves me. Yeah, I'd like to just give her some. Why not? Nah. Do you I slide into what? DMs though? No, I don't. What yeah. about those who slide into your DMs? Ah, a lot. Slippery slope. Slippery slope. You open my land on your nose. Yeah, we may have been. Oh, yeah, yeah, they slide into my DMs. <laughs> I've answered now. See, I would have just sung. Uh, oh, my no. friend would <laughs> open, open the DM. Open the DM. Spawn my bank. Open, open the DM. <laughs> Why are you deleting me? <laughs> slippery like a fish. Let me hold this hand as well. <laughs> I told you you were slippery. You were deleting messages. No, let see. me see. Let me see. Hey, I said. Go to snap. Go to snap. Audio. Snap. Snap. Audio. 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 Snap. Audio.
I knew this was a trap. Who was he linked to? Nobody. Everybody. So hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Everybody, right? No. <laughs> Let me see. Who was he linked to? It was only you. Because I gave you flowers, you remember? <laughs> so, so basically, back in the day, yeah. we filmed like a skit. Yeah. This is before everybody was doing skits. And um, so the whole idea was that, you know, Praise's voice is so magical, so beautiful. Yeah. And I'm such a fan. So he turned up at the studio with flowers and he started singing and I fake fainted. Yeah. And then since yo, then, everyone believed everybody that. was like, you She's know. Like, yo, he sang and she fainted. Yo, what kind of voice is that? Yo, tools. It's like, Guys. I was like, that was yo. acting. I did. <laughs> right. Yes, it was acting. It was acting. Wait, we haven't found know that the problem is that like, all these women they're very beautiful but they're not like known people oh. so that's what that's let me have a look through I don't know I'm oh, sorry so these God DMs God are God. very busy though I know yes I know <laughs> I searched, I searched a couple of like popular names and nothing came up. I was just like, hmm. <laughs> maybe that's actually that's what. Hmm. It's a lot of women, but they're like you don't know them. So that's your mo. Not industry women. Well, such actresses. <laughs> Which one? There are so many. They are very pretty. Which one? So the five fine ones. Lots of international babies. Yes. Yeah, so because he's you know, always traveling. Do you, do you still live here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, what? <I> stay here. <laughs> <laughs> lots of lots of lots of international. Which what's the, um uh, plus three four six dialing code? What's that? Ooh. I don't know what that is. Let me just click on my page. Not bad, not bad. This one's like a natural looking sister. It's cute. This one. Houston, Texas. Okay. Shout out Houston. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's, that's Barcelona, actually. The one, oh, three, okay, three, the one thing you, you have to say about Praise is that I'm seeing different tribes, he's not, you know, and that's what we need to bring Nigeria together, Inclusion. you know, yeah, it's very, very inclusive, well done, well done. <laughs> there's Yoruba, there's Igbo, there's Benin, Love there's it. just different, different, you know, this one, Kaduna. Hey, hey, hey. So wait, wait. Grown. Remember that. Remember his story. Oh, what's the what? What's the furthest um you've traveled to get some nookie? <laughs> he went to <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia. <laughs> New York, <laughs> even <laughs> further, like Australia, no, Brazil, know, Barcelona. I went to a couple. I've, Where I've, I've been to Norway. Hey, uh, uh, and then. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, you went to Kaduna um, by night bus. <laughs> okay. I was, was it worth it? Atlanta. Was it worth it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he hasn't finished yeah. giving us the list. Atlanta. I no, Atlanta, Atlanta was there. When I was in Atlanta, I started giggling. <laughs> Ghana. Hey, Charlie, mm. shout out, pra pra. <laughs> <laughs> you're girl. a problem. You're a problem. <laughs> I, I will still say, I will still say, because of the stress of that Something journey, just came in. TK is still the winner of this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so, have you noticed like the sound thing? His music voice. Yeah. Really yeah. But he, I mean, literally, TK said that he went on a night bus like to get to the. How long was it again? No, 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 no. See, TK. Ah, uh, see, oh see, see. God. See, it's, okay. it's me. See, we need to do a different. What did you see? What did you see? You know, see, for TK, see, we need to do a different Please. of. Eh? Ah, TK, TK, and legend. So I'm him traveling to Kaduna for is like just a basic, like every weekend I'm stuff. My blood over there, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you acting so humble? <laughs> Let so me what, stop there. So what's the? No, no, no. Otherwise, we'll, we'll focus on you again. So give us a. Oh, my okay. brother, I need, <laughs> I need him off my back. <laughs> so quick one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> really? We'll go back to you. <laughs> Wait, look in, look in his um, look in his pictures. No, look into his pictures. Hey. Look, into, look at look at the WhatsApp uh, picture. Ah, no, 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 don't go there, please, <laughs> please. Otherwise, you, you give us a story about TK. Well, I'll give you a story about TK. TK, no, drop the phone. No, throw your guy under the bus. Please, please, please. Yeah, 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 let me go pull your wig. What are you hiding? What are you hiding? I 
I'm sorry. Oh my god. But you know, I never, I never do that. I was threatened. I, I never, I never <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even me, I was like, let me hold Oh my god. No, but this was fun. This was fun. This was fun. <laughs> Shout out to Praise for this stopping by. Yes. Make sure you Thank get you so his much. album Reckless. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can follow him on all of his social media platforms. Yeah. My Instagram is official praise. Mm-hmm. Twitter is praise, praise eight. eight. I'll say Snapchat, but things are not. Well, you can still follow me on Snapchat, official praise. And- there are so many people. Before you answer you. Mm. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> what are we now? This is um, April. I mean, we're in May. We're in May. Maybe last, last July, he'll answer you, right? Now you'll be shocked. You can, he has like 10 unopened snaps. I, I, I just don't want to. You see, 10 is not plenty. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you for stopping by Praise once Thank again. You. Your album is called Reckless. It's out on all platforms. Yeah, yeah. yeah make sure you get a copy. Why you guys pushing me? Me that's supposed to push you guys because my show. So guys, take your phone again. No, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, and thank you to our very very special guest Praise. Um, thank you. His. This DM Where are off yeah. his DMs on fire, his WhatsApp was on fire, his Snapchat was on fire. Well, goddamn, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Safe to say, the one thing that we've learned from this episode is that he's what? He's not a reformed hoe. <laughs> Still reckless. And on that note, God bless you. Have a great day. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>「Hi, I'm Tools. If you absolutely love that episode, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's just right there. You're not going to yeah. die. We promise. Click just the click button. right there. Click, just click. Press the button. Thank Press you. It. Subscribe. Press Tell it. your family and friends Press too. Press the button. Thank you. Bye. Bye.